G4 PC Link An Overview To start, open a base map from within the PC Link folder. We are using a sample EVO3 file. For those of you that are used to some older PC Link products, this is where you find the menu and it works very similar to the menu tree that you would be used to. So as you see, as I'm doing here, you would just click on each main menu item to expand every other item underneath it and select it as necessary. Please note I used the ECU settings button to make this menu appear, however right now I'm pressing escape and escape alternatively to toggle on and off this menu. As some small examples, I'll push T and the menu will appear showing only the tables if you're looking for a specific table. This makes things really easy. In a similar fashion, you can push S and type in what you're looking for. For example, auxiliaries. I start typing auxiliary and all my auxiliary selections turn up. Of course, if you're a user of a mouse and really only use the mouse, these buttons here, such as the table button or alphabetical search, will work exactly the same way. To help you with further shortcuts, please visit the help selection in the title bar and select keyboard shortcuts. It is important to know what your engine is doing at all times. By pressing F12, we bring up what we call run times. The run time values show you in real time every single input and output that the ECU is aware of. Just click on all these tabs at the top to view any part of the information that you're looking for. If the ECU has stored any error codes at any time, they will be displayed here. You may click this area just once, and this will open up a window to show you all the errors that may be stored. PC Link has a very good feature called Active Help Browser. Click the small blue round icon with a question mark. Observe how I'm clicking on each part of this window and how it represents different help files associated with it. Remember, you can always press Help and Contents or press F1 to access the help file. In this next part of the video, we'll cover how to make your own tabs and personalised gauges. By right-clicking on an existing tab and selecting New Page, we will bring up a dialog box allowing you to name that page with whatever you would like. To add further flexibility, we've enabled these tabs to be ordered in whichever way you would like. I can actually drag this tab to the front, like this or drag it to the rear, wherever I would like it. We have several gauge types to choose from. I'll show you, as an example, one of the first gauges here. We call this a digital gauge. Select the particular information you would like displayed on the gauge from the left hand box and using the arrow, move it to the right hand box. These could all be, also be double clicked. If needed, highlight the selection and use the arrows at the bottom to order the gauge information to a different location. If you press OK, at this time the gauge will be placed on the screen. Position the gauge to where you would like and use the corner grip to adjust the sizing to your liking. I will set up a few gauges here as an example. I have created the throttle position sensor gauge as a bar gauge. This comparative type gauge to see the difference between my idle and my target. An AFR gauge with some personalised red line settings. And of course not to forget my RPM meter. I can set up a real time plot of my AFR target and the actual AFR. And of course here's my AFR target table to work with. In a similar fashion you can display runtime values as well. Table groups allow you to display on the same gauge different information based off the active table. The left hand dial gauge below, labelled with map, will change when the active table changes. This blue title bar denotes the active table. 
Right now I'm going to press F7 to toggle my ignition map to the fuel map. Please note, I now display manifold gauge pressure. I'll press F7 a couple of times to flick between these two tables, just so you can see the gauge change as well. To set these up, right click on the gauge that's appropriate and choose properties. Here you will find your table groups. In my always visible group, I have nothing displayed. You can see because it would be in this window here. In my fuel table group, I've got my manifold gauge pressure showing. This is why you see manifold gauge pressure when my fuel table is active. And in a similar fashion, the ignition table is showing my manifold air pressure. Use the padlock to lock a table in place so when selecting another table, it won't be replaced. Alternatively, by holding shift and selecting another table, the active table won't be replaced regardless of the lock. Now you know how to create your own tabs and gauges, you can actually save your layout as a personal file. Use a descriptive name to save your custom layout. By default, the layouts will be saved in the layouts folder in PC Link. Observe me opening the default layout. This is what you are used to when installing PC Link. Now I'll load my layout that we created for YouTube. I've done this because it has a special screen size. You'll recognize this screen as this was previously saved in PC Link before. Download PC Link from linkecu.com.